A business sign set in a rock garden reads, Colorado Center for the Blind. Our view pans right. Across the garden, a senior picnic under leafy trees. So I guess I lost my vision when I was 65, in the summer. Judith Hollyhead, seated in the Braille Library. I was driving down this road and had this black round thing in my eye and you know, I was rubbing it and it didn't go away, of course. Walking into the wood shop with her white cane, Judith touches the base of the chop saw. My diagnosis is macular degeneration. Smiling, she holds up a newly cut piece of wood. So I guess a lot of us old people get this disease. And it's funny because up until it happened to me, I'd never heard of it. A 70-ish man enters the hallway using a support cane in one hand and a white cane in the other. I think everything I'm doing right now are things that I never thought would be possible without my sight. Richard Schiavone seated in his kitchen. It's amazing. I just look at life with the glass half full. He sits beside his wife as they read Braille together. Bernie Schiavone in the kitchen. The neuro-optometrist did tell us that he will never get his vision again because it was the optic nerve. And that's when I started calling around to try to find out something we could do for help. Richard collapses his white cane and sets it on the table. Somebody suggested the Colorado Center for the Blind. A senior man joins others at the table in the senior resource room, among them Richard and Bernie. And I asked Rich if he would like to go, and at first he didn't want to, so I think we sat on that for several months before he said that he would go. At the picnics, seniors gather around the grill, cooking and chatting. And when we walked into the Center for the Blind, it was the most encouraging and positive thing that had happened to us in a long, long time. We came away from there with, with hope. The senior resource room filled with seniors and spouses. Duncan and Diane sit at the table. Welcome, everybody. And we'll go to my right. <laughs> Diane, like George. Diane greets others with hugs in the hallway. My rehab has been through <laughs> through other people, I guess. I've learned a lot from other blind people all my life, and I'm still learning from other blind people. Wearing ear protection, Judith cuts a two by four with the chop saw. It's because of the center has given me the confidence to know that what I set out to do, I can do it. I made this, it was so exciting. I cut the board, I shaped it, sanded it, stained it, sealed it, and put in the screws. And voila, I have a key holder. Richard and Bernie seated arm in arm in their backyard. Bernie pecks him on the cheek. Blindness is not the end of the world. It's just another life, and you have to learn how to live it. At the senior picnic, Richard holds Bernie's hand while flipping a burger at the grill. Never accept the word, I can't. You just don't say that because blind people can't. Dale Holden walks with a group of seniors and staff. He is using his white cane, as are others in the group. The seniors in charge, it encouraged me to venture beyond my comfort zones. Phyllis Chavez steps down from the light rail with her white cane. As you know, sometimes people can look at it negatively, but here, uh, nobody looks at it in that way. They're all very positive about it, and I feel like I have become more positive. On a senior outing, Phyllis walks with her white cane over a covered footbridge. Surrounded by friends at the picnic, Ruben Hernandez gives a big laugh. I don't like to miss coming on Friday because you have like another family here. He whips his folded cane out of a holster and into full extension. Ruben seated in front of the center. We tend to not want people to think we're, we have a problem until you really get really bad. Then you start realizing, you know what, I better do something about it. First thing I learned was cane travel. Phyllis crosses the light rail tracks using her white cane. Whether it's taking the light rail or the bus or walking, I generally have 
increased that aspect of it all because I do feel more confident in myself and I know that I can do it independently by myself and not always have to depend on a relative or a friend for a ride. Phyllis uses her cane to walk down the stairs at the light rail station. And when you turn like this and stay lined up with it. On a neighborhood sidewalk, a senior receives Let's instruction on how wide to sweep his cane. Right. Yeah, there you go. Close up of an egg being broken into a bowl. I keep coming to the senior program because I enjoy every week. I learn something new every week. Does it feel like it's all mixed up to you? Yeah. His hand holding a fork, mixing ingredients. The most challenging part about cooking is not getting burnt. And so you gotta know how to handle the stove, how to handle the pan, uh, the spatula, so that it doesn't burn you. Wearing an oven mitt, Richard places the casserole dish into the hot oven. The most satisfying thing is to know that I can do it and that I could cook for my wife. It's very, very satisfying. Bernie serves the casserole at the kitchen table. Now, B is a one and a two, so I'm gonna let you. An instructor gives a tennis ball to a senior B. woman. Okay, one, two. She places so, the ball into a six cup muffin tin next to another tennis ball. So you build the seat. Even though I've started out later in life learning Braille, it never discouraged me from, oh, well, you're too old to learn Braille. I feel like you can learn whatever you want to regardless of how old you are and when you actually start that process. Oh, is Close it? up of hands um, moving across a braille page. Phyllis and another that senior that? woman read okay, braille side by J, side. Okay, three zeros. Okay, J, okay. So technology is very, very important that you learn it because at our age, you know, we didn't have all this stuff. I learned to use a keyboard which also comes handy with keyboard for my iPhone. First a view of a computer. Now a close-up of a hand holding an iPhone as Judith minutes. receives instruction. I can do the iPad. I didn't think I would ever be able to use a computer. And then I have people here who take the time and have the patience to show me how to do this, how to do that. And we can change that, and I'll show you oh. where to, how to do that in your settings as well. We'll say that uh, for next week. Seniors fill the seats around the long table and along the wall of the senior resource room. Seniors in Charge was an experience of staying in apartments with other blind people. I wanted to overcome my panic attacks. Dale uses his white cane to board the light rail with other seniors and staff. Every now and then, I would get in a corner and, and the panic would build up greatly. And uh, at that point, I'd get flustered and not find my way out. A profile of Dale walking with a group, his white cane extended. And we all have found that being blind doesn't stop us from enjoying life. We laugh, we interact. Dale sitting next to a fellow senior in the senior resource room. I come because I can't see. I think that's the good reason for coming. Very good. Dale seated beside the window, swaying with the motion of the light rail. Anyway, uh, as, as a young person, I was, I was the tin man from Wizard of Oz. I didn't have a heart. Dale with his fellow senior at the table. Oh now, now I am the lion. I, I needed courage to... <laughs> to continue life after darkness, so uh, here I am. Dale walking with Duncan toward a stand of tall ornamental grass. We just got done reading Wizard of Oz with my daughter. What happened? Did the lion get courage? She says, Mom! Dale and his fellow <laughs> senior listening at the table. Guess what happened? They talked to the wizard and apparently they all had it all along. They just didn't know about it. Oh, oh, oh darn. There you go, Dale. You had it all along. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. Nice go. Slow pan through the leaves towards seniors sitting at the picnic benches. At the Colorado Center for the Blind, we offer a number of services for seniors. These services include instructional classes 
and discussion groups on developing positive attitudes about blindness. We work with seniors both at our center and in their community. Returning from their outing, the seniors recross the footbridge, walking away from the camera. For more information, please call me, Duncan Larson, Director of Senior Services, at 303-778-1130, or visit our website at www.cocenter.org.